one of the best cruiserweight uh, contender out there, um, popularly known as Andrew Tabidi, and his full name being Omotunde Andrew Tabidi, you know, recently reflected on his partner with Anthony Joshua, the unified everweight king of the universe. We all know Andrew Tabidi, uh, of course, um, went to uh, Joshua's camp to help him prepare for Andrew Jr., you know, the rematch. Uh, Tabidi was needed for his, you know, his fast um, pace in train punches. He's got fast combinations, you know. He's very sleeky as well. He was needed to challenge Joshua's um, ability to, like, set the pace on the outside. And, of course, uh, Joshua loved it, according to what I've been told. And this is what he had to say about the sparring. When asked, he said, training was good. It was really good. Uh, we just went out there and gained experience from a world-class fighter. It put me in a place to believe in myself and see what I have to. Going out there to help one of the best everweight champions of the world get ready. It was also a confidence bolster for me, for myself. It was a real great experience to go to a different country, Tabidi stated. He also said, most definitely, I can definitely say that I was his number one sparring partner. If you see the highlights of the fight, you see he had similar style to me. I saw a lot of my, I saw a lot of myself in him. Whatever I gave him, he won the fight, and I'm just happy for him. You know, Tabidi. You know, uh, of course, a lo lot of people don't know he's Nigerian, but he is. You know, um, he was born in America, just like so many Nigerians were born in America. His full name being Omotunde uh, Tabidi. I mean, you have to actually dig deep to actually know he's Nigerian, though. Because you don't really, really get to see it. I mean, it doesn't express it that much compared to the likes of Joe Joyce, uh, you know, Joshua, Lawrence Coley, all this kind of stuff. So, Tabidi, you know, he's a very good fighter. You know, uh, I remember his last fight uh, against um, Dirty Coles. Uh, Dirty Coles, like, Dirty Coles, we all know he's a, he's a great fighter. You know, Tabidi is a very slicky fighter, came into camp with Joshua, helped him prepare, and of course, made Joshua realize that, listen, what you have to do with a guy like that is to like move, slick move, you know, jab, move, jab, move, throw some right hand, move, and all that. Like, he kind of showed Joshua the way um, to annihilate um, uh, Andrew Junior to like to take away Andrew Junior's advantage away from him because Regina we know is a, is a pressure fighter is a guy that likes to throw combinations uh, is a guy that likes to come forward so a guy that likes to come forward you have to take something away from him and how do you do it you saw I just did it you know uh, he gave Andrew Junior a Boston scholarship but talking about Tabidi you know ever since he lost um, to Junior Junior Doticos I mean, he hasn't uh, been active, you know, the, like, I mean, I think that actually, like, that loss, that's, of course, his first loss, but, I mean, that that actually just, like, he doesn't move around away, but I think uh, behind closed doors, he's been working out, you know, he's been working on some things, and him's power with Joshua just kind of, like, help him, you know, boost his morale, you know, help him boost his confidence and say, in, in saying, listen, uh, Joshua is a world-class fighter. You know, he's the heavyweight champion of the world at that time, former heavyweight champion of the world, unified. And if I can do good against them, I believe I can I can go back and start fighting or start resume my career and begin to to do wonders. You know, and after that, I think that actually boosted his uh, his confidence, uh, and of course, making him want to return to the ring. And I cannot wait to see the guy fight. You know, uh, since I of course ever since I realized the Nigerian. I was gonna chuck the ball. <laughs> like, you know, I think he's a very good fighter and um I hope to see more of him. He's a very sleek fighter. He was unlucky in his last fight and I hope to see him bounce back. And hopefully uh we have a future cruiserweight champion in our hands because uh the last fight was for the I uh, vacant IBF cruiserweight title. Of course we don't know what happened. Um uh Dirty Coast won. He was a he was he was winning on the scorecard though. No, uh, Tabidi was uh, was leading a scorecard before, you know. Uh, I mean, 
Tochiko landed that monster deadly punch that actually knocked uh, Tabiri out. So guys, you heard it from the guy. I mean, like, you see what he thinks. I mean, he's probably Joshua is something that is needed. And I believe, believe me, when you spar with top class uh, fighters, you tend to want to even you tend to want to even do more. You know, you you tend to like if if your guy is down, you you just you stand back up and regain and your, your your confidence back. You know what I mean? That's what just happened to Tabidi, and I can't wait to see him in the ring. So stay blessed, stay hungry, stay humble. Like the video if you're new, share, subscribe, and go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center, on Twitter at Boxing Block, and as well on Facebook at Boxing Block Center. Stay blessed, stay hungry, stay humble, guys. Cheers.